A brand new Range Rover doesn't come along very often, so when one does, it's a big deal. This is the fifth generation of a model that has been around for more than a half century, and with each new incarnation, the model has moved further upmarket. The latest model is the most luxurious yet, which is saying a lot considering its predecessor was still a top choice for luxury up until the end of its production run. Along with plenty of creature comforts, the latest Range Rover includes plenty of tech to make life easier, as well as a choice of petrol, diesel, and plug-in hybrid powertrains. We're testing the D350 diesel with mild hybrid technology here. The new Range Rover has plenty of competition at this price point, and one of the best is another British model, the Bentley Bentayga. It follows the premium luxury formula established by previous Range Rovers, but adds the benefit of Bentley's handcrafted expertise, allowing customers to design their own bespoke machine. Is that enough to win this test, or does the Range Rover have an advantage? The fifth-generation Range Rover is available in standard and long wheelbase body styles, with petrol, diesel, and plug-in hybrid drivetrains, an all-electric version will be available in 2024. At 122,375 pounds, it is more than 35,000 pounds less expensive than the Bentayga, though there are numerous personalization options that can significantly increase the price. Welcome to Life in Luxury, we provide you useful information that it will help you to live the luxury. If you are new here, welcome, and consider subscribing. Design It's been a decade since the last Range Rover was released, and it's clear that when it came to signing off on the new model. Land Rover's design team didn't want to mess with that car's instantly recognizable appearance. The grille is narrower and the headlights are smaller up front, and there are two bars that stretch across the lower air intake, but the new Range Rover looks similar to the previous model. The major changes take place in the back. The high set rear looks a little off to us, and the clusters have been replaced with gloss black trim that hides the lights. The indicators are also integrated into the black bar that runs across the tailgate on either side of the Range Rover text. The Range Rover is the first vehicle to use Jaguar Land Rover's latest MLA platform. It's been designed with electrification in mind, but the pure EV is still a ways off, with only plug-in or 48-volt mild hybrid systems available for the time being. The D350 is powered by a 3.0-liter six-cylinder Ingenium diesel engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Air suspension and four-wheel steering are standard. Inside, the Range Rover cabin provides the upmarket ambience that previous generations of owners have come to expect, but with more technology than ever before. The dashboard is outfitted with Land Rover's latest 13.1-inch PIVI Pro touchscreen and digital dials, plush climate and massage seats, and nearly everything on board is electrically adjustable. The cabin of the Bentayga maintains true to its premium identity, with rich-smelling leathers, genuine wood trim, and glittering metal accents. Almost everything about a Bentley may be customized. Buyers may choose between front and rear bucket seats, which sit four, and a three-across second-row bench and a pop-up two-seat third row, which seats seven. If you'll be chauffeured, the new long wheelbase model provides extra legroom and more conveniences. It is only available as a two-row car with back bucket seats that massage and recline up to 40 degrees. Leather upholstery comes in a variety of colors, as do two mother-of-pearl-faced bridling dash clocks, a bottle chiller for rear seat passengers, adjustable ambient inside lighting, and even a safe with a biometric lock and fingerprint scanner. Performance the Bentayga and Range Rover have identical powertrain layouts, but their personalities are very different. Whereas the Range Rover prioritizes comfort over everything else, the Bentley has a sportier edge. It all starts with the V8 engine, which not only has greater power than the Range Rover's diesel, but also sounds better. It can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, which is more than 1.5 seconds faster than the Range Rover, and it does it with an addictive roar from the V8 engine. Gear shifts are seamless, and you can manage the transmission manually using the high-quality metal paddles placed behind the steering wheel. To emphasize its emphasis on luxury, the Range Rover does not even provide paddle shifters. The Bentayga's athletic vibe is enhanced by direct steering, 
And the car is more willing to turn in than the Range Rover on uneven roads. When compared to its opponent here, the setup of its active anti-roll system means it's also better controlled over bumps in its normal configuration. Overall, the Bentayga has a sportier personality in regular settings, making it seem more concentrated than the Range Rover. That's not to say the Bentley can't be luxurious. When you switch to comfort mode through the rotary selector beneath the gear lever, the Bentayga's softest air suspension settings are on par with the Range Rover's. Bumps have been smoothed out, and cruising comfort is as outstanding. The tires produce a little extra road noise, but it's scarcely audible. Both automobiles may be lowered using air suspension to enhance access to the cabin. The Range Rover's lowest setting lowers the car by 50 mm, although smaller passengers will still have to climb a bit higher to get on board. The Bentley mechanism does not lower the car as much, but it is not as tall as the Range Rover in the comparison. Long wheelbase models are available from both manufacturers. The Range Rover is 200mm longer overall and by 200mm in wheelbase, and the LWB costs roughly £2,000 more than the normal model. It also has the possibility of adding a third row of seats. The Bentayga extended wheelbase was just unveiled, adding 180mm to the car's length. There is no 7-seat variant, however Bentley does offer an airline seat option for extra comfort in the rear. Prices for this model have yet to be determined. So which one is better? The Range Rover is the gold standard for all other premium for X4S, and the current model continues that legacy. It's really comfortable, sophisticated, and soothing to drive or be driven in, and the comforts on board make it seem unique whether you're going to the shops or traveling across the nation. Diesel power is still useful for longer journeys, but the plug-in version is the one we choose. The key distinction between the Bentayga and its competitor here is that the Bentley is more concerned with its driver than with its passengers. It has the same luxurious interior as the Bentley, but the driving experience is more focused on performance than the Range Rover's. It's a fantastic piece of machinery, but the Range Rover provides a more grandiose sense of occasion and superior infotainment. That is all for today, thanks for watching. If you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And here are the video we handpicked for you to watch next. Life in Luxury, Your Personal Mentor